that time again, welcome to Solomon's Portico. <laughs> Last time on Solomon's Portico. <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way. If we start giggling, it's just because we've been at this for a while and it's late now. But anyways, last time on Solomon's Portico, we talked about how laziness can be a huge issue. The Proverbs talk about sluggards and lazy people a lot in a very negative light. In fact, the Bible says regarding a lazy man that he is a brother to him who destroys not exactly flattering language however we don't want to try so hard not to be the lazy man that we swing so hard the other way um, on the opposite polarity the opposite on the pendulum swing we don't want to become workaholics now, it, and some of you may be like well you know I'm a workaholic and you wear it as a badge of honor but listen for a second and see how this is not a good thing Proverbs chapter 23 verses 4 to 5 do not weary yourself to gain wealth cease from your consideration of it when you set your eyes on it it is gone for wealth certainly makes itself wings like an eagle that flies toward the heavens in other words wealth is a lot like a bird that you're trying to catch with your bare hands and it is just flying away from you and it's the problem is a lot of times in our culture we, we get into this idea of the if only's right if only I had this car if only I had this boat if only I had this job with greater respect and greater pay and, or, you know, I know growing up as a teenager, oftentimes in my heart there was, if only I had this relationship. The truth is, with all these things we're searching for, the only thing that's really going to satisfy us is Christ. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. That's found in Philippians. Um, but we want to make sure that we're chasing after the Lord and that wealth is not the thing that we are just chasing, 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 chasing after. Listen, y'all. Work to live. Don't live to work. I'm going to say that again. Work to live. Don't live to work. You know, this could also be said of food, by the way. Eat to live. Don't live to eat. You know, don't let these little blessings that God gives us become the central focus of your life let the giant blessing of knowing God let that become the focus of your life um, so how do we know that we're doing this how do we know that we're living a life of balance that on one one end, on one end on one end I'm not being lazy and on the other end I'm not being a workaholic, but I'm on that happy middle. Well, you want to make sure you're obeying God's command to take a Sabbath. The Bible says the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. So don't worry about like checking the box as well. Does this count as work? Does this count as work? Does this count as work? Okay, I didn't do these things, so I'm good. Just make sure that your Sabbath day is a restful one. Um, make sure there is one day a week that you take to rest. And on that day, don't, you know, you do want to make sure that you have some sort of recreational things that you, uh, that you enjoy, things that maybe don't spend a lot of brain power, but also make sure you throw in those things that, that make your heart soar and make your spirit grow. You want to include things like Bible study and contemplating the majesty of Christ and getting together with your family and um, like maybe a family devotional and things like that and uh, going to church worshiping with the body of Christ you want to include these things um, but uh, you know 
definitely take time to relax and to refresh yourself, okay? Another thing to consider is, uh, do you leave your work at work when you come home? You know, and I realized that not all jobs can afford to do this. Sometimes emergency workers are on call all the time. And uh, you find this even in, in the pastoral uh, role that uh, you may be called to an emergency or something like that, or somebody needs your counsel right then and there, and that's fine. But we also need, in a generic, general sense, we need to be able to partition things, you know, to leave work at work and then come home and enjoy your wife, enjoy your kids, enjoy your dogs, enjoy your family, right? And if you receive a lot of criticism uh, from your family about that, maybe that's something to consider. Maybe that's one area uh, where you haven't found that nice middle ground between laziness and workaholism. And that's what we need to, to, what's what we need to strive for. So anyways, if anything in this video was helpful, please leave a like, a comment, or a subscription below on the YouTube channel. And as always, stay frosty, my friends.